Are you serious? Are you serious? Michelle Bachman uh, has made a statement on a radio show where she says Obama's poor relationship with Israel will bring the return of Jesus Christ. And this is in the Jerusalem Post. What? Unbelievable when you think that Michelle Bachman, a powerful congresswoman from the state of uh, Minnesota, a former congresswoman, but from the state of Minnesota, and also she was a very powerful uh, presidential candidate. And uh, uh, wow, but is she right? Let me just look at two verses here in the Bible in a moment. Here's what she said. Former Republican Congresswoman from Minnesota, Michelle Bachman, stated that President Barack Obama's handling of the Iranian nuke deal is a symbol of the coming of the end times and the imminent return of Jesus Christ during a recent radio interview. Bachman explained that if Obama and the United States turned their back on Israel, this would bring severe curses upon the United States, similar to those seen in the day in the end days. Bachman is not afraid of the end days. Rather, she says that these are the most exciting days in history because nothing is more important than the return of Jesus Christ. Quote, we need to be so on fire right now about the things of Christ and the things of God that needs to occupy our time and our thoughts virtually from morning to night because we have very little time. In my opinion, uh, very little time left before the second return of Christ. That's good news, the former congresswoman said. The world is embracing degeneracy, but what that also tells us is we look at what the world is doing and they're going according to God's time clock. Pastors, preach it from the pulpit. Are you serious? Are you serious? That's exactly what I've been saying. Preachers, preach it from the pulpit. You've got to start sounding the alarm. You cannot avoid the end times. Your parishioners will demand it from you. They will demand it from you. They will start asking you what is going on. Why are Christians being beheaded and slaughtered and crucified and raped and murdered and imprisoned and persecuted and set on fire all over the world? They're going to ask you about this morning's ISIS video just released in Libya, where ISIS beheads a bunch of Christians and executes a bunch of Christians. They want to know about the 21 Christian Coptic Christians who were beheaded in Libya. They want to know why ISIS is able and nobody is doing anything really to stop them from the genocide on Christians in Iraq and Syria. They're also going to ask you about Pakistan persecution and murdering and India's uprising by the radical Hindus. They're going to ask you why that China can get away with such brutality of Christians and North Korea and, and what Cuba's done over 50 some years. They want to know and pastors, if you ignore it, if you won't even open the book of Revelation, if you won't even say to them, well, we're living in the end times. And I mean, this is insane, folks, but we have got to sound the alarm. Matter of fact, let me tell you, you say, well, Michelle Bachman's overreaching here by making a comment like that, saying that because of President Obama's foreign policies, that this is a sign of the imminent return of Christ. But let's take a look what the word says. The Bible tells us in Genesis chapter 12, two verses. The word says in verse two, the Lord spoke to Abraham and told him, I'm going to send you to a land that will be your coveted land. And he says to him in verse two, and I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee and curse him who curses thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Now, you might say, well, that's, that's Old Testament. I really don't want to know about 
that, and you know, I'm moving on and all that. Well, let's take another look at another scripture. You don't think that the leadership of a nation doesn't affect that nation? Even David said in Psalms chapter 9, he said these words in verse 17. He says, uh, let me go to verse 15 just to give you an ideal. Uh, he says, the heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made, in the net that which they hid, in their own foot taken. All right? Because of their own disobedience, they will stumble into their own pit or be hung up in their own net. Verse 17, I'm in Psalms 9, 17. The wicked shall be turned into hell and all nations that forget God. Let's read it again. The wicked shall be turned into hell and all nations that forget God. There is a price to pay when any nation rejects the gospel of Jesus Christ and begins to fight against it. It's, and it's also an evident fact, according to the word of God, that God will, will absolutely curse a nation if it curses Israel. Well, this is why we need a revival in the land. This is why we need to turn things around. This is why we need a agape word. We need a rhema word. We need a right now manifesting word of the power of God. Uh, here's what... Uh, Michelle Bachman said, she said, if we actually turn our back on Israel, as we have seen Barack Obama do today, if that happens then, I think we will see a scale and a level of pushback in the United States. Negative consequences. Bachman told Understanding the Times radio uh, uh, host and said, I don't know what they are, but I believe that the Bible is true. And believe what the Bible says is that our nation and the people of our nation will reap a whirlwind and we could see economic disasters and natural disasters. So Bachman is trying to send a message that uh, when our leaders say that we're no longer a Christian nation, this does bring a reper repercussion upon the land. When our nation's leaders say that Christians should come off their high horses instead of praying at a prayer breakfast, when our leaders begin to mock the very name of Jesus, tear down the very moral fiber of this country, and begin this onslaught against the word of God and Christianity and freedom of religion, we're in a country right now backslidden to the bone, and we need to come back to God. Can somebody help me? Don't miss... I'm telling you, don't miss, <laughs> don't miss the call of God. America, come on back. Let's get back to the altars again. Let's get back to basics again. Let's get back to the very fundamental roots of the nation. Let's get back to the, the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Would you pray for America? Would you pray? Are you saved? Time is absolutely running out. When you have a presidential candidate on the front page of the Jerusalem Post talking about the return of Jesus Christ, you've got a situation you need to understand. Are you saved? 